Yeah, hi guys and welcome to RG Handhelds again. Um, I've already done unboxing of uh, uh, this RG300X, but we've also got the black one in uh, just now. So what we can do is just have a quick comparison, uh, check the two colors out. But uh, additionally, I've got the stock OS on this one that it comes with. But this one, I have uh, actually managed to get myself a early beta release of Open Dingux, uh, currently in development by our Open Dingux team on our Discord. So let's go ahead and uh, just have a look at that. We'll take this as an unboxing for the black version as well. So there you have it, guys. That will be the original um, memory card that came with it. Same old stuff guys, you can see my last unboxing uh, to see what you actually get in the box, but that's about it. And there you have it, the black and silver looks pretty cool. Um, I quite like it. It's got not as much as fingerprint magnet as the, uh, the red one, which we'll take a look at. And all your buttons on there, as we had in the previous version. So let's just have a quick unbox and compare the both. So that is the other one. There you have them both. Um, while we're doing that, you can just go ahead and boot them up as well. So this top one will have open Dingux as you can see. And this one has the stock OS. Uh, or the OS on the devices. Uh, you can see Open Dingux booted up pretty, pretty fast there. Um, so let's take a closer look at Open Dingux then, guys. So here it is uh, in its form, pretty similar to the normal stock Open Dingux. Uh, it's still a very early. Uh, Beta here, and we're looking at uh, Citro from my Discord. He um, very kindly gave me the files to get it running. So um, you can see you have all the emulators on there. Um, compiled uh, SM64, you can check that out. And one of my favorite games. Uh, let's just see how it runs actually. I'll fire that up. Uh, again, this has been recompiled um, for the Open Dingux OS. Of course, we don't have a joystick here, so we're mapping to the D pad. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. Just quickly show the game running here guys, don't want to really get into playing it too much. No way to skip this intro so we're just going to have to uh, bear with me and watch it. Uh, I know they were trying to optimise the colours a bit more but I think they got pretty perfect now um, for Open Dingux. Right, there we go guys. There you go, as you can see, it runs perfectly fine uh, with the D-pad. Very smooth indeed. So I'm going to leave it there guys, uh, for this one. Uh, I don't think there's no easy way to get out of this. I just normally reset it just down the bottom because that game does not have a, the controller, the actual analog, so uh, you can't select exit. Uh, looking back at uh, the normal stock Open Dingux, uh, which is this one, uh, well, I've already covered this uh, in my unboxing video. 
So the video was mainly just to show uh, open Dingix again and the two colors that you have now. Um, like I say, not much of a fingerprint magnet compared to uh, this one, which uh, you might see more of your fingerprints on that. But that's it guys, just a quick one really. Um, Open Dingix is in development, so watch out for that. We'll have download links soon as it's available in the video. But um, I will leave it there for you guys. Enjoy, hit that like, subscribe button, and thanks for watching.